Welcome to my room. Okay, let's do this. Welcome to a blog that probably no one wants to see. Featuring uncopyrighted music made by me. Forgive the shaky camera work, cause I don't have a gimbal. And forgive the multiple ad breaks, cause I need money to buy myself a gimbal. This is my room. And it is hot in here right now because I had to turn the AC off to get good sound on this video. And now there's a super loud lawnmower outside, so... Why do I even try? Almost everything in here is at least a couple years old, and some of it is really pretty old. Not talking about myself. So I decided it's time to redo it. I live in an apartment, and I probably will for the foreseeable future, unless my music makes me super rich. Um, that's on you all. So I can't go crazy remodeling or painting, really, but... I can replace the things in here and rearrange them, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So pretty much this whole room makeover thing was inspired by the fact that I need a new mattress. Bad. This one is about 8 or 9 years old, and it's killing my back. It's also a full size, which is okay for me, but it's a little small for two people, and also because when I'm alone, I sleep in the middle and I just spread out so now there's like a valley in the middle of the mattress so when there are two people they kind of tend to roll towards each other and uh, it's not ideal so I'm thinking if I'm gonna pay for a new mattress I might as well just upgrade it to a queen right because that's what I would really rather have the problem is this room is small and my furniture is so chunky that it barely fits across the room so this is actually a queen headboard but since I have a full mattress on it I'm able to slightly overlap the headboard and the nightstand and then butt the headboard and then dress it right up against each other. So it's wall-to-wall -wall furniture. There is no room for anything bigger. So I can't get a bigger mattress and keep this furniture in its current configuration. And I don't have a whole lot of room to rearrange the furniture, like for example moving this bed in front of the window, because the headboard is super tall and it would cover half the window. And this room is already not very bright. And also I have a massive desk. Big ball desk is stupidly large. So this gets me thinking about my furniture too. I've gotten five. Spam calls today. This set of bedroom furniture is over 20 years old. My parents got it for me when I moved out of a toddler bed into a regular size bed. It's the only bedroom furniture I've had my whole life. I feel like you can tell. It's straight out of the mid-90s. I am sentimentally attached to it because it's been with me for so long, but it's not really my style. It really never has been my style, and I didn't get to pick it out. It's also an inefficient use of space. For how big the pieces of furniture are, the drawers are relatively small, and there's a lot of this border around the edges just making it clunky and taking up extra space. I think I can find something that's a more modern, slimmer style, so even if my mattress... I think I can find something that's a more modern, slimmer style, so even if the mattress is bigger, the room won't feel any smaller. I like the look of the long dresser and the space that it has to set things on top of it, but since I think I'm going to be living in pretty small apartments for a good long while, I think it would be a good choice for me to get a tall dresser instead. All I know is it definitely can't be longer than this one, so that's what I'm going to be looking for. The top of this dresser feels really cluttered to me, and I know that if I get a tall dresser, I'm going to be losing space on top. So I'm going to be looking for other ways to store some of this stuff, uh, maybe to just get rid of it. Dead. This desk is the main thing I definitely want to stay. It's about six years old, it's still in great condition. I actually built this little gray thing that goes on top of it that has my speaker sitting on it and it has my rack mounted components. So even though this desk is sort of huge and sort of ungainly, 
I'm not getting rid of it. I will work around it because I love this desk. Also, nobody else is allowed to install my desk, only me. So yeah, it's time for some changes. I'm going to start bringing things out so I can bring other things in. Taking my stuff out from under the bed That's what you heard, yeah, cause that's what I said I have got way too much stuff under here Next thing I'm gonna do is take the mirror Got a very empty corner now, and some new stuff is coming in here today. My empty corner just got a new thing. That's why I wrote this stupid song to sing. What next? Mattress is leaving, it's no longer mine. Goodbye, I won't miss you. You fucked with my spine. I just had this mattress delivered and when it gets delivered you're supposed to check it for rips and tears and make sure it's actually the mattress that you ordered and stuff like that because once the delivery people leave you're not allowed to return it. So I just checked it with the people here and the guy said that in 20 years of delivering mattresses he's never seen someone check a mattress so thoroughly. The guy was so proud of me. He said, keep doing that for everything in your life. So I guess, you know, me being a control freak paid off. And this is the after. I sold the old nightstand and I donated the rest of the old furniture to Habitat for Humanity because nobody wanted to buy it. What's this? New room? New stuff, same room, see how that works? Oh, yeah, 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 I get it, yeah, yeah. So imagine you're a guest at my house. You're walking into my room, everything seems fine, everything seems relatively normal, until you turn around and see behind you a two by three foot canvas of my head photoshopped onto Napoleon Bonaparte's body. Yes, this is... Napoleon. Should you bow? Should you curtsy? Should you make a break for it? To be fair, I did not make that of myself. It was a gift from some of my followers, but I did welcome her into my home and now love her as my own. Let's talk about it. Starting with the bed. Oh my god. I wouldn't have thought it was possible to love my bed more than I already did. I've had the mattress for a couple weeks now, and honestly, I've never been more satisfied in bed. I put up curtains, I rearranged a lot of the things that were hanging on my wall. Now on the left side, when you're facing the bed, I have my three city maps, LA, Barcelona, and Madrid. There's no Oklahoma map because for some reason, I don't know why, the designer didn't have Bartlesville, Oklahoma as one of their large metropolitan area map options. This bed is a lot closer to the floor, there's no box spring, and there's storage. So much storage. It took several hours to put together, and it's gonna be a bitch to take it apart when I have to move out of this room, because there's no way it's fitting through the door. But the relief that I felt when this bed was done, and I was stowing all my stuff under there, and I put all my stuff, and there was still room for more stuff, unbeatable. I've also got my high dresser now, which I'm loving. Even though it's smaller and it has one less drawer, I think it actually fits more clothes in it because of the size of the drawers. All my jewelry's been moved to an organizer inside the dresser drawer, which really reduced the feeling of clutter. I've got a few family pictures on the top, my Oklahoma license plate, and of course, my very special YouTube plaque. I'm keeping the pink lamp for now because, well, it doesn't go super well with the room. It was a gift and it's got a big sentimental value to me. I've got the matching nightstand, which is very cute, and there's a little home for my bread in there. I've got a new lamp and a framed version of this painting, which is called Boy with Rabbit by Sir Henry Rayburn, who's actually one of my ancestors. I got a new chair for my desk as well. The story of my old desk chair is 
a sad tale. It's about six years old, all covered in fake leather. And after a couple years of use, the fake leather somehow got a rip in it and it started to peel back. Eventually the rips on the seat part reached such a size and multitude that I felt like I had to duct tape over them to keep them from growing more. Which worked for a while, but then it had the opposite effect because from the edges of the tape were born more rips. And then I ended up covering the whole seat in duct tape and then... It got so disgusting that I had to rip all the duct tape off, and then with it I ripped all the fake leather off, so below it was it was just like the spongy fabric underneath. And that was how I left it for probably two years. But I couldn't make myself get rid of it because I was like, the chair works fine. I mean, it looks a little bit gross, like there's nothing wrong with it, really. I don't need a new chair. I am certain that I got that chair for 40 bucks, even though I now cannot find it for 40 bucks or any other office chair for 40 bucks, but I don't want to pay more because I know that that's how much I paid for it. So anyway, I found this really cute new chair, and it was 55, and I was like, you know what? This is cute. It's a small profile. I think it'll look great in the new room. I think I'm ready to let the old chair go. Then I sit in the new one for a couple days, and I discover it has absolutely zero back support, which is not ideal when you um, work from home at your desk most of the time. So unfortunately I was only sort of able to get rid of the old chair. The two chairs now go back and forth between my desk and the piano, so if I'm working I bring the old one in here because it doesn't hurt my back. But if it's just for decoration, then I have the new one. I let my whole family down too because I texted my sister who's the number one proponent of me getting rid of the old gross chair. Like, you're gonna be so proud of me. Guess what? I found a new chair today. I'm finally getting rid of the old one. And then I had to be like, well, sort of. I moved out to the living room, but it's still in my house. And it comes back into my room sometimes. So that's pretty much it for the new room. Let me know what you think of the transformation in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please, please leave me a like to encourage me to do more vlog content. Because I will, if you like it. I will do more. And I'll be back next time with some music. Thanks for watching. I wrote an end screen song to say goodbye. Thanks for watching for so long But even an end screen song has to end